The structure of a fridge magnet is not as simple as you might think, and you can reveal this hidden structure by putting two of them together. But before I do that, let's have a look at some regular magnets. So I've got two strong neodymium magnets here, and the structure is very simple. So there's maybe a north side and a south side. And if you try and push two north sides together, you, you can't, they repel each other. If you try and put a south and a north together, uh, they go together, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and once they're together, you can rotate them around each other like this. So there's no preferred angle. Any orientation is fine, but that's not true with fridge magnets. So if I take a couple of fridge magnets like this and put them together, they're only attracted very weakly and actually only when you get up close. But if you rotate them around each other, then they snap into position like that. And then you can sort of slide them over each other like that, but only in one direction. If you try and slide them the other way, you get this kind of rumbling sound as they repel and attract each other. That's because this fridge magnet doesn't have a simple structure where say the top surface is a north pole and the underside is a south pole. Instead, it's arranged in strips. So you'll have a strip that is outwardly north facing followed by a strip that's outwardly south facing, then north facing, south facing, north facing, south facing. So when you line them up, they attract each other with north and south opposite, but when you try and slide them over each other, you're lining up like poles. So north with north, south with south, and they repel each other. An interesting consequence of the structure of fridge magnets is that they only work when you're really up close. To see why, imagine that you are a tiny piece of iron and imagine that you're in the presence of a magnet. So this magnet has a magnetic field around it. And this is the way magnetism works. If a piece of iron is in a magnetic field, then a magnet will be induced in the iron in the opposite direction. So for example, if this was the north end of the magnet, then a magnet would be induced in this piece of iron with the south facing that way. So a north, uh, a north pole and a south pole attract, and that is how iron is attracted to magnets. But what about the case of a fridge magnet? What does the piece of iron see? Well, there's a north facing strip, which will induce a magnet in this piece of iron with the south facing that way. But right next to it, there's a south facing strip, which would induce a magnet with the north pole facing that way, and so on for each different strip. So the north and south poles are kind of canceling each other out. So when you're way out here, the effect of the different strips cancel out. But if you take this tiny piece of iron and bring it right up close, something interesting happens because the strength of a magnetic field depends on distance. The closer you are to a magnet, the stronger the magnetic field. And if you bring your tiny piece of iron right up to the fridge magnet, then it will be closer to one of those strips than all the others. And that will be the overriding influence. So suppose it's right on top of a north outward facing strip, then it will have a magnet induced in it with south pointing that way. And if you've got a big strip of iron, like say on a fridge, then you will have strips of magnet induced in the opposite way to those strips uh, in, in that sheet of iron. This is actually quite a cheap way to make magnets. And if you've ever seen magnets being sold as uh, a health benefit, so like, you know, magnetic bracelets or uh, magnetic car seats, the idea is that the magnets uh, are making sure that the, the magnetic field in your body is correctly aligned. Um, but the chances are the magnets in those products are manufactured in this way. So the fields from those magnets won't penetrate beyond your skin anyway. So uh, they're actually a scam in two ways. So I hope you enjoyed this video about fridge magnets. If you did, please hit subscribe and I will see you next time.